So I've been getting asked a lot about these pipes, so I decided to make a video about it. At the same beach, there's these weird cylinder things that leak air. There's also this H, or is it an I? Anyways, I found this shrimp living with an eel. The eel was like, hey, get away from my shrimp. Okay, we have to stay focused. Anyways, so the way that the pipe works is, oh my God, hold on. I found this pin cushion sea star and I have to show it to you. And right next to it, there's this little sea cucumber. They say that they're supposed to be the length from your pinky to your thumb, but this one was definitely shorter. For example, look at how big this one is and it's thick too. Okay, so we found another one of those cylinder things that leaks air and Brittany went down to look at it. I also found this person at the bottom with no fins. What the heck are you doing? Okay, come on guys, stop distracting me. I'm trying to talk about the pipes. But we also found this shell and I had to show it to Brittany real quick. We carefully swam it back down and put it back in the reef because it was still alive. Okay, finally we're out of the pipes. What the heck is this thing? It's like some weird cylinder. I've never seen this in the ocean before. I didn't know these guys, but they let me put it in their buoy. Anyways, so the reason that these pipes are here is, oh man, we're all out of time. If you want to find out how the pipes work, come back later for part two. How's a friend inside? Yeah. This is pretty though. Yeah, it's just it's like, like my big one. Yeah. And then I have one that's like that big. Yep. We put him back. Okay, so what I was trying to tell you before about these pipes is that they're attached to this. Oh my gosh, there are so many shells down here. Why are there so many shells here? This is so crazy. Do these pipes spit out shells? I already know the answer to that. It's no. Okay, so the pipes come out from this electric power plant. They use the water from the ocean to cool the plant and then spit the water back out into the ocean and it's kind of warm and that's why all these fish hang out here. The water is also coming out really fast so you can ride it if you want to. Another cool thing about these pipes is that they don't pollute the ocean at all. It's the same water that came from the ocean and they didn't do anything to it besides heat it up. Okay, that's everything about the pipes. Bye. So we were out swimming in the ocean and out of nowhere, our turtle friend Nainoa swam out from the bottom. He came right up to us to say hi. By the way, did you guys know that turtles breathe air? It was so cool to see him and we were so glad that he wasn't being grumpy anymore. He told me about all the adventures that him and Octavia had been going on. Then, as he took his last breath, he looked over at Brittany and said, I bet I could beat you in a race to the bottom. Ready, set, go! And Brittany wasn't ready, so Nainoa got a huge head start. Brittany's basically half mermaid, though, so she was able to catch up before Nainoa got to the bottom. Who do you guys think won? I'm gonna say that it's a tie. As Nainoa swam away, he said, Good job, Brittany, but I'll beat you next time. So I was out diving with my friend Brittany when I noticed a puff boy swam into this cave. We went to follow him to say hi, but when we looked in the dark cave, no puff boy. Then from the shadows emerged a white tip reef shark. I could see the puff boy cowering below him as he glided past. I watched him carefully as he paced back and forth inside of his cave. Then from the surface, Brittany saw another shark swim into the cave. There was nothing she could do to tell me, so I had no idea until I saw the two sharks swimming together. When Brittany finally swam down, the sharks separated. If you want to see more insane shark encounters, go on my YouTube channel.
So I was diving with my friend Brittany. I found this shell and I could tell that she was alive. So I just gave her a little pet. Then I found this big shell. I also found this really weird piece of trash. I have no idea what it is. I went to show my friend Brittany, but I thought it would be a fun little game if I made her choose which hand and she got to keep whichever hand she chose. Brittany, choose right or left. All right. Uh-oh, you chose wrong, Brittany. Have fun with your weird trash thing. She knew that there was something special in my other hand. So I finally showed her and she thought it was so beautiful. I know that she uses shells like that to decorate her house. So I let no her keep way. it. Then our friend Nainoa came by to say hi. He said that he hadn't forgotten about the diving race with Brittany last time, but he wasn't ready for a rematch. Then I found this massive bait ball. There were so many. Then I found uh, whatever this weird thing is. And if anyone can explain to me why the heck this piece of metal was here, I would very much appreciate it. Thank you. And then I found this little piece of plastic. That's all the stuff we saw. Bye. Brittany, what? choose right or left. Uh, right. Ooh, it's sick. It's alive? No way. Oh, yeah, no, that's a shell. I thought some, there was something in there, but it's another shell. <laughs> Two for one. Sick. So I was out diving with my friend Brittany and then she randomly came up to me and was like, look at this. And it was our friend Octavio. Look at how cute and snuggly he is. He's so funny sticking onto her face like that. That's how octopuses give kisses. Then he came over and grabbed onto my face and he was like, open your mouth. I have a surprise for you. And then he... I think he just tickled my brain. After that, we decided maybe he should go back to the reef. So I brought him down and let him swim back to his hole. Bye, Octavio. It was good to see you and also kind of weird. You got a goggle player for a second. <laughs> You got invited to go on a spearfishing trip, and even though you've never been, you thought it would be a cool way to meet some new people. Everything was good as your boat left the harbor, but you started to notice that all of the boats you saw were going in, but none of them were going back out. Your captain kept driving full speed ahead, even as the horizon you left from got smaller and smaller. When the boat finally stopped, the water was a deep blue, and there was no way you could see the bottom. You're definitely not the best diver in the group, but some strange force drove you to jump into the water first. When you finally got your mask on and looked down into the water, you realized that fish might not be the only only food on the menu tonight. The sharks that inhabited these deep waters started to surround you and your friends and even started to poke on some of your fins. These sharks weren't afraid to show little teeth and they got so close that you were able to pet them. Suddenly, you felt something pulling you down, but when you looked, there was nothing near your feet. You look up and you're already 30 feet deeper than the boat. You try to swim, but your strokes aren't working. Your desperate effort has separated you from your tool and now the only thing that could have saved you is out of reach. If you want to find out what really happened, go to my YouTube channel.